Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the conditional rendering directives like VAF and if VAF and else, and also the VAF and show directive. We have seen it now. In this video, we will try to see about the how to render the list items. So, if you are having a list of array of items or an object of data, how we can loop over this one in a template and we can how we can show this one. Let's try to see in this video. For this one, I am creating a new component list rendering dot view and here i will go to the main.js main.js and here in this main.js i will create a component list rendering i will be using this one and here we can paste it list rendering we can paste it it's not pasting so the list rendering i am pasting it here so the same list rendering we can go and we can import it here and we can i will be pasting it here yeah let's go to the app dot view in the app dot view the app dot where is this app dot view yeah here in this app dot view i can use this list rendering and in this list rendering let's create a template so you're trying to see about the looping over the array of items or object so h3 this rendering so this is our list rendering and at the bottom you'll be able to see the output so now so for looping over the list of items based on an area on our object we will be using vfn for directive so vfn for directive requires a syntax in the form of item in items or something like that where items is the source data array and item is an alias of the array element being iterated on let's say for example in the script setup in the script setup i am having a constant books let's say i am having a books so i can use a reactive which will be imported from the view and in this reactive you will be having an array of data and here this array of data is nothing but title so i'll be having a title of book one and i can have another one book 2 and i will have another thing book 3 and book 4 so these are the list of item books i am having so if i want to loop over the books list and if i want to show it means so here i can do do so for this one i can loop over using vi pen for so the book so here this is an alias so so that each book will be stored in this variable in books so we'll be using in books and vi pen for in books and i can write something like so i am looping on array book dot title that's it so now we have used vif and per okay this is a closed due so it should not be like that and here we need to open the due yeah so now here we are able to see book one book two book three book four so the items it is looped over if you want you can also use a something like an ul ul so in this ul you will be having an li so which you will be looping over this li and here each one i can use it like this and this book dot title will be pasted here instead of having a div now if you try to see here all the list items has been rendered so like this you'll be having so now what you need to understand is so it can have access to the parent scope also so for example here i am having something like parent uh, message or something like this so i'm having a message here i will be using something like parent I'm using means so here in this one inside this one you will be able to access this parent message so without any problem so the so uh, what i can say is so you'll be able to access the variables which are present in the global scope so don't think that the vfn for loop if you are trying to use it means so what has happened to this one maybe i made it something wrong or what okay ref we need to include it so sorry ref yeah maybe this is the only problem yeah so here you'll be able to see this parent message also you're able to see it in this for loop so the parent scope is also be available that is not a problem now what i can say is this for loop is something like what i can say is in the javascript you'll be able to see books dot for each right so same things the same syntax the same logic it will follow so that is the only logic which will be followed in the template also 
so not only uh with the in operator so some people will be using with the off so we can also use the vue.js also supports this off also so whatever the delimiter you want to use you can use it so it will work at the same thing only both for the objects and also array whereas in the es6 something like that if you want to use for an array you need to use off for object means you need to use in right but in the template you will be able to use so anything so it will support so not only the array of items in the uh, view in the in this vi for we can also loop over the object also for example let's say that i am having a constant my object is equal to i can use reactive of so here this is an object title my title and here i will be having something like author my author and here i will be having something like date date or something like this or right, let's leave it so we'll be having only two keys so this is our object and if i want to public i want to loop over this object means i can use simply so here i can use something like ul or li and here i can use vf and per items in my object or here this should be a singular and here i can use so what i can do is so here you'll be having the value right so item right or otherwise you can use value or anything so let's try to print this value what will happen so here i will print this value so now if you try to print this value we are able to see my title and my other so which is available here the values if you want to know about the key so i want to know about the key so this title and other i need to i want to print the or render the key also means so you will be having a secondary argument in this one so value comma key and here you can use something like key and here if i try to print we are able to see title and other my other so whatever the keys and values are present so you'll be able to print this one not only this one you'll be able to have an index also so we'll be having a last uh, in turn last parameter that is an index so if you want to print the index also you can print the index so here i can print so at what place this property is there so here if you try to print it so here zero at the zero the place this index is there at the first place this other is there like this not only in the object you can also have in this one also the index also so here also you'll be having an index so here you'll be, you can also print the index here i can print the index so what is the uh, element so where it is present this element zero eighth position or first position second position it will try to print it so this is how we will be printing the arrays so we will be this is how we will be looping the arrays mm -hmm. or rendering the arrays in the vue.js template not only this one so we can also loop over something a range of items also so if you are having a integer value and if you want to repeat the template uh, so many times so for a fixed number of times means so you can instead of having an array of numbers so you can loop over with a range of numbers something like let's say that i am having a development okay uh, so lila web dev so i want to render this one or print this one 10 times let's say so i can use a vf and for a vf and for n in 10 so now it is repeated 10 times so for example if you want to print the n value means so it will print the n value note that it will not start with zero it will start with a, uh, one so if i try to refresh this way see here it will start with one two three four so it will start with n will any n starts with an initial value of one instead of zero so here n is this one so that is not, that is one thing for example if you are having multiple values so for example let's say that uh, here i want to lila web dev and here i will i need to have another dev channel so i need to print this both the things lila web dev channel like this i want to print both the things multiple times so for if you are having multiple elements and you if you want to loop over this multiple elements means so now if you don't want to wrap so vf and for will be loop will be wrapped for a parent element right so you don't have a parent element for this one means you can use a template so you can use a template and you can loop over this template so that now here you can use this vf and for sorry and here i can use so what is happening template and here i can use this vf and for i can copy this one and i can paste it here vf and for that's it 
So now here you will be able to say Leela Web Dev channel like this. So the multiple items are able to loop over. So this is how we can do it. So like this. So for the template also we can do it. So don't try to use the VIFN for VIFN if and also the VIFN for in a, for the same element. So try VIFN if has a higher priority than the than the VIFN for loop. So for whenever you are trying to check for an item. So for example, if you are trying to check that uh, VIFN for you have used it here. And if you want to check that V if and if uh, if book uh, book is not equal to Leela or anything. So if you want to check like this means so this one creates an issue. Okay, this creates an issue. So don't use to have V if and for with a V if and if why because V if and if must have higher priority so that this book variable may not be available in this V if and if. So if you want you can have this one. And if you want to check so you can add this one in a template for a template thing and you can check it for the la element so like that you can check it so that is the main thing you that is the one thing you need to remember when you are trying to apply both vif and for and also vif and if for the same element and another thing another important thing what i want to explain you is for example if you try to see here we are able to see some red underline uh, for a vif and for vif and for we are able to see it so what is the problem for this one so the problem for this one is so we have missed the key attribute for this one. So whenever you are trying to use a VF and for, so it it uses an in place patch strategy. So it is called as an in place patch strategy. What is this strategy in place patch strategy? I will try to explain you. So what is that in place patch strategy means? Instead of, for example, when these uh, elements, uh, what I can say is, when these items are updated or when these items are done, uh, when these items are uh, added when this list items when these books or anything is added extra means so instead of uh, what i can say instead of uh, cre recreating the dom elements it will try to change the uh, in instead of moving the dom elements or anything so it will patch each element in the place to make sure that that it should be rendered at that particular index the default mode which we have able to see in place patch strategy is efficient so it will uh, create it will have the performance thing and all those things but uh, if you try to observe so in some scenarios in rare scenarios and all those things so it will keep it will create some weird output i will show you one weird output thing so so that you can able to understand so fine so for example let's say that we are having title book one book two book three book four right so here i will try to remove this one also so that we can keep it as cleaner so this is the thing i will remove this parent message also and index also i will remove it so now what I, what I, what the thing we will be having is so we need to have this one so we need to place a unique uh, identifier for this element so that the we whenever it is trying to loop over this each item so it can have a unique identifier so you can think that index is uh, something like unique identifier why because uh, any index will be starting from 0 1 2 3 and each element will be having its unique number so fine so it's some uh, in most cases this one works fine so index so if i try to see the uh oh sorry so the error has gone away so now we are able to see the output without any problem but the main problem comes here so for example let's try to add a div okay i am trying to add a div here and here i will try to add a input so input type is equal to text so we are having for each one we are having an input bo book one and we are having an input box now the problem comes where it will come is for example i want to sh shuffle the books variable uh, books data so here i can have a do i can have a do and in this do i will create a button and in this button what i will try to do is so here i will be having shuffle and when you click on this uh, shuffle so at the right click shuffle so we'll be having a method shuffle so now let's try to take this one and here i will be using constant shuffle is equal to so this could be a method and for this one we will have some uh, code something like this so i am pasting it from the internet so here you'll be having a books so i am this one is this one will be shuffling so this one will be shuffling so this one will be shuffling so for example if i try to refresh this page now we are having this one right let's go on to this one and here now i will be clicking on the shuffle see this one is these all books are randomly shuffling fine now if i refresh book one book two book three is there for book one i have added in here in this one leela okay 
So now when I shuffle this one, this book one and Leela, this both input box and all those things should be shuffled. If I click here, see the Leela, the input box is stay, uh, staying, is staying there only. But the book three, book four, book one is shuffling. Why it is, it is happening is this is called as an in place patch strategy. Instead of shifting this whole DOM, moving this whole DOM element, so what the Vue.js will try to do is so it is trying to update the value which is present in the div. Why? Because this is the only thing is changing. So it is trying to change the place there. So it is not trying to move this entire input box. This is called as an in place strategy. So that is the thing it is happening here. The index is same. Index is not changing anything. So index is not changing. For zero, it is there. It's like that only. So that is the reason it is not changing the input value. So in order to change, in order to uh, behave correctly, if you want to do it means, then you need to replace with a unique ID, not with an index thing. So what I can do here, so you can have the ID is equal to one. So you will be having some unique values like, like primary keys, which you will be getting from the API. So here I will be using ID is equal to three and ID four. Okay. So these are the things we are having. Now, if you try to see book dot title and all those things like this, so instead of having this key as an index, I will try to do book dot ID. Okay. That's it. Now, if you see the output, so what will happen here? So instead of having it here, so now if I try to see here, Leela, and if I shuffle this one, see in along with the input box, everything is shuffling. Why? Because so now the in now the book dot id is also changing so now book dot id is also changing away because book dot title has it for this book dot title id is one only so there is a reason so entire thing is changing so this is the one thing so this is the usage of the key so why we need to use the key thing so you need to remember most of the things index will work but when you are having a bunch of data when you are trying to see some weird output if you are getting miss or try to maintain the key as a unique thing so this is all about the list rendering in the vue.js template Hope you understood about this VIFN per directive. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.